Sun and Leo, Moon and Aries. So, of course, when we got the Sun and Leo, this is basically the time to basically be on a mission. Yeah, utilize your mission, your mission, or somebody else going to give your ass a mission that you ain't going to want to basically take the bearings for. And the moon is in Aries. So, of course, that's dealing with the way we self-express ourselves. Our aggression, of course, being that it's in the moon, you may basically take the chances and take risk factors today. You might be in a car. You might be driving. Everybody might be driving crazy. People might be doing dumb shit on the road. You might feel the need to basically do some extra fast fast and furious type shit just to basically be on the safe side for others or be protective towards yourself. And, of course... This sign already deal with too much emotion. Of course, you always gonna want to basically be on the move and have self-expression and basically be passionate towards yourself. Of course, loyalty speaks values. Also, we got Mercury and Leo. So basically, this is the time to basically learn how to speak and basically be the stage of attention. Take the mic and basically talk with your heart. And feel me? Don't just be so logical. Basically, talk with the with the heart. Also, we got Venus and Cancer now. So basically, this is basically protecting your loved ones, being there for your family. And of course, power outages is out, so people going to feel the need to want to go to their family home. Do who have power? So of course, watch out for that shit too. We also got Mars and Aries. So that's basically dealing with being competitive, being forceful, and of course, acting with, acting with impulsiveness, basically acting without thinking. So of course, being with the moon and Aries, you might have issues with your teeth, the way you think, um... Of course, you might have sexual attention and shit. You just basically might just do things without even basically having thought of it. You might, you might just process certain things into your mechanism. So be very aware, basically. Because basically, you will not second-guess yourself. You will just basically do that. You might just feel the need to basically punch a motherfucker in his face today. That's without even thinking about it. You might just basically do that, react and respond to that. So basically, be careful because we're going to be in this two-day phase with that. Also... We got Jupiter and Capricorn. So basically having a strong craft, being sober with your craft and utilizing it, pushing that out and basically having strength and passion towards it. We also got Saturn and Capricorn. So that's basically dealing with ambitious, ambitiousness and basically getting through over any obstacles that's basically blocking you. So basically just utilize it to have passion and, and uh, push yourself no matter what. They, every day the universe wants to see you pushing and trying. So utilize that and be consistent. Also, we got... You, um, Uranus and Taurus so it's basically <clears throat> Taurus is basically like a feminine side and being that we got Uranus in this shit so it's basically dealing with revolution um, ambition is towards having freedom towards our resources our money um, our living process you might f you gonna rebel against this fake ass virus cause motherfuckers is losing their job for this shit so of course you're gonna be rebellious you ain't got no choice but to pay your bills or anything like that so these circumstances situations may take shape and form also, we got Neptune and Pisces, so you're going to basically want to feel the need to basically escape this illusion. So basically, a lot of, a lot of motherfuckers are going to see with this virus on their mind. A lot of motherfuckers is waking up to this virus and it's fucking up with the illusion. It's basically bringing them, bringing them into a fantasy. And if you're dreaming about this virus, then something is very wrong. You need to get the fuck out of that. You need to take your imagination back, take your power back, or these motherfuckers going to travel with it and utilize it. Same shit they've been doing for 2,000 years. They're going to redo it again. You're going to have to come back here and repeat the whole phrase again. Reincarnation, which is the 12th house. Dealing with Pisces. That's dealing with expansion and growth. Is your ass going to expand? Or are you going to basically expand and come back here? You got to pick and choose. Choose wisely. Also, we got Pluto and Capricorn. So that's dealing with death, transformation, rebirth, trend, um, regeneration. And basically, of course, they utilize so much shit with this fake-ass virus. And now they want to basically put checkpoints to where you can't, you got to check in for 14 days and basically say, no, these motherfuckers are harassing you. Take your motherfucking power back now. Don't fucking listen to these police. You better fucking get in their grill and tell them straight up, I'm not fucking quarantined for no fucking 14 days, you motherfucker. You hear me, motherfucker. You basically, you let, you talk to their spirit. And you basically put that shit out there in the universe so you won't be fucked with. Because when you agree to the terms and conditions and you don't question shit, then you will basically be in a routine with a pattern and basically just going with the edge to the point these motherfuckers are going to have you dressing up in hazmat suits. Be careful with that shit. Also, we got Chiron and Aries. So this basically everybody going to have that energy of not be, be, not being existent. They don't want to be here on this earth, wounded, healing and the traumas and shit. You can't self-express yourself because it's fake-ass virus. No, you need to get your ass out there and pro protest with this protest, this fake-ass virus, so they can see, oh, we got to try something else. You got to basically hit them where it hurts. Don't be protesting about no fucking skin color. That shit don't mean nothing when you leave this fucking body with this flesh. That shit don't mean shit. You got motherfuckers, you got black motherfuckers that hate black motherfuckers. You got white motherfuckers that hate white motherfuckers. Who gives a fuck about that shit? 
Focus on what really matters, what truly matters is basically working together. Because at the end of the day, these motherfuckers coming after y'all motherfuckers. For real. Don't give a fuck about no skin color. Also, we got Ascendant and Capricorn. So that's basically you might feel the need to be uncertain and, or be certain about circumstances and situations of how you express yourself too. Also, we got Moon, Tron, Mercury. So emotions and the way we think and communicate is going to be, be, basically be blended together. So it'll, it'll make sense, feel me? The mind is fucking with the gut. Also, we got um, Mars Square. We also got, what the fuck? Mars Square Jupiter. So it's basically f- learn how to have balance between your energies and the way you utilize your power. So, of course, you got to learn your power or it's going to basically go to waste and you're going to have aggression and force. So get your ass out there on the stage and shine, feel me? Also, we got Mars Square Pluto. So this basically dealing with learning how to have balance between, oh, learning how to have power and control. Take power and control around your surroundings and locations, around people, places, and things. Also, we got Jupiter Sextile Neptune. And that's basically dealing with um, growth. That's dealing with um, expansion. That's dealing with spirituality. So you're going to feel the need to basically do that. And, of course, be out there in free spirit and, pre- and be a preacher type shit. Because these motherfuckers ain't doing their job. They ain't got no faith. They ain't got no hope. They clo- they closed casket right now. Suntron, that's why you need to find yourself. Suntron, Mars. So that's basically dealing with balance between self-confidence and self-growth and ambition. Sun square Uranus is dealing with learning how to be rebellious and learn how to point towards the crowd. and be. Feel me? You might have issues the way you think and create and basically have go towards yourself because the sun don't like being here. <clears throat> but it's a good thing to learn this shit so you can have better awareness around this around the locations and learn how to be rebellious towards people, places, and things that try to basically take you out your comfort zone or take advantage of you in some way, shape, or form. Also, we got Moon Square Venus. So this is basically learning how to not have close connections with other people, places, and things that put you in circumstances situa- situations, or you might have somebody that want to get in a relationship with you, but you just got out of a relationship, you don't want to basically repeat that process and take on the burden and the responsibilities and balances and try to basically push loyalty towards this person. They basically don't have you in their best interest. Be very aware of that shit. Also, we got Moon Conjunct Chiron. So it's basically dealing with um, deep healing and basically learning how to utilize your strong feelings and emotions to basically... Bring out anything that basically caused trauma towards you in some way, shape, or form. Also, we got Mercury, Tron, Chiron. So that's basically opening up about things that happened previously. You might have had an issue with your ex or had an issue with somebody. Or you might just fucked around, fuck, fuck your homeboy's girlfriend type shit. You might just be open up type, type shit right now. Be very careful, though. The moon is an Aries. Motherfuckers won't think. They'll just pull out the gun and shoot your ass and think later. Be very careful. Shit is very serious. Also, um, we got Jupiter conjunct Pluto. So that's dealing with um, magic, not getting caught up in magic squares and shit. Because the thing, the expansion and uh, expansion and abundance that basically they're trying to trap you into, your, mask, your ass might have to get a vaccine just to get a $600 thing a week. So be careful. Don't get caught up in those, in those magic squares. Saturn conjunct Pluto. So that's dealing with um, daily effort routine to basically having passions, having consistency, and also putting definite transformation towards being procrastinative and shit like that. You want to basically put that put that to the side and be practical. Universe is watching. They want to see you be consistent on a day-to-day basis. If you ain't consistent, something right, something not right. Neptune, sextile, Pluto. So basically everybody feeling the need to basically open up, wake up more, and basically do their own research and realize their illusion that's going on. Because, yeah, it's getting very ugly for you motherfuckers that believe and think a motherfucking mask going to fucking save you, which in, re- which in reality ain't fucking going to save you. Also, we got um Sun, Tron, Moon. What the fuck? Saturn conjunct Pluto. So this, yeah, I already said that. Also, we got Sun, Tron, Moon. So it's basically having um Sun, Tron, Moon. And that's 10.7 degrees. So basically, it might be problems with the way you, you um self-express yourself and they'll have feelings and emotions and guilt towards other people, places, and things when you take the stage, since the stage to have your feelings and emotions expressed towards others, your purpose and um, concentration. Also, sun conjunct Mercury. So it's basically what people say, what people tell you, you don't give a fuck. But remember, days change. So circumstances, situations might change, change, change up too. So don't think you may not have a problem. You feel me? 
you're going to have a problem. But basically, we're going to see how you get up out of those problems. Sunshine Chiron Center, basically dealing with self, self-expression. Mercury opposing Saturn. So the way we think, come up with, um, this might be having be depressions and shit. You got your kid wearing a mask. He's, he's depressed. Feel me? You forcing that shit on him. All kind of fucking shit going to be going on. Mental illnesses and shit going to play out and shit. Be, take that shit off their face. They don't need that shit. Mercury square Uranus. This is basically um, thinking the communication and basically people, places, things not resonating with you. And uh, you may be coming to contact with motherfuckers that believe in this virus. Motherfuckers that sheep. Motherfuckers that's not woke. Gotta be careful with these motherfuckers because um, rebellious natures can clash. Motherfuckers might just get mad at you just because you said the wrong thing. Be careful. Jupiter conjunct Saturn. So it's basically that I want to... Um, um, a president can die this year because when this junction, Jupiter conjunct Saturn, um, a lot of presidents die. Abraham Lincoln, uh, John F. Kennedy, all, all kind of shit going to take shape and form. So President Trump is going to fucking die this year. And I keep telling y'all that. Don't take my word for granted. He's going to fucking die. Also... We about to run down these houses real quick. So if you got the first house, which is if you got Aries in your first house, this is learn how to have limits, learn how to have um, con- con- um, concern about other people, places, and things. Not hog the ball, learn how to share the ball, because people, places, and things might fell away depending on how you react and respond and basically take the center stage. Don't um, put yourself in a circumstance situation of people, places, and things might hate you. But this is the son of Leo, so basically you have no choice. For me, it's either you're going to express that towards other people, places, and things, and people, places, and things are going to pick up the way you express yourself, and they're going to basically want to try to basically push that on. Energy can never be destroyed. It can only be reciprocated. Second house, this is, learn how to, this is reacting and responding to personal values, pleasures, and changes in satisfaction. So basically, you might feel the need to basically have um, satisfaction towards things that you want to um, bring into existence as far as, like, your values and things you have in consideration for. Learn how to basically, you know, feed, have self-expression and free yourself up and basically don't get too attached to this shit because it can basically harm your ass. Also, um, third house, if you're going to basically re- react to personal goals, and of course, this is in my third house, the way you think and communicate and respond, how to basically put your attention towards one thing at a time. Don't be all over the place. So find, your, find your wisdom, find yourself. Basically, you got to stay on the move and basically be open to all circumstance situations that's basically going to resonate and benefit you. Fourth house is basically having home, family, emotions. Um, learn how to move around or stay in the nest and shit. For me, have personal self-expression. Basically, go out there, be open. For me, learn how to create a no, another nest and basically move out of mama house. For me, can't keep sucking on, sucking on her nipples. Fifth house is basically having ego recognition, basically shining out and standing out towards the world. Learn how to utilize this and basically get out of vanity. For me, don't think negative and shit, but basically get your ass out there and be humanitarian who you're supposed to be and basically break out of anything that's basically holding you back. Six house is basically dealing with helping other people fix things, health issues, personal health issues, personal day-to-day process, basically that can help harm you or bring you good recognition. Have faith in yourself, trust the process, and basically be organized. Seven house is dealing with learning how to have balance and re- learn how to have to repair relationships between you, other people, places, and things. Whether you have beef with somebody, you might want to feel the need to basically, you can utilize this energy. It'll manifest for you in every way, shape, or form in a harmonious way. But feel me, learn how to basically... You no, know, get into conflicts and shit. Learn how to basically separate yourself from circumstances and situations that are home. Eighth house, dealing with material satisfaction. It's also dealing with being determined. And of course, having emotional death and basically having degeneration. But be careful around people, places, and things that might take your um, kindness for um, weakness because they might take advantage of you. Because, so, you know, the way you self express yourself and shit, you might have you might get yourself in circumstances and situations that you don't want to be wrong. Because Merc- um, motherfucking Mars is squared with Pluto right now. So you might. Feel the need to basically rebel against somebody that don't go towards your best interest. Ninth house is having self personal convictions, your beliefs, the way you, the things you um, believe in, and of course, being practical and being consistent is what you need to basically ground your um, the way you think and believe, so other people, places, and things can resonate with you. Tenth house is dealing with material issues, guilt, challenges, obstacles. Find compassion in yourself. You feel me? And don't be so, told so hard on other people, places, and things, or yourself. Don't be sensitive. Feel me? Learn how to get rest and basically relax. It's a two-day process. Things will change for you. 11th house is basically finding your core. Feel me? Don't be nervous. Being consistent. And also, basically, being being relaxed. And basically, having a mind frame of helping other people, places, and things. And last but not least, 12th house. Basically, you're on a mission. So, you got to have faith. You got to have dreams, imagination, consistency. And also, basically, don't lack. Don't fall short. And don't basically 
put yourself in a square as where you're going to box yourself in and they'll basically f show your true ex expression. Self-recognition starts within you. If you can do that, everything can basically go into your favor, real shit.